I help people with their, their automation problems. Uh, I visit with them, talk with them, uh, help design automated systems to uh, alleviate their problems, be it labor shortages, get folks out of environments that they shouldn't be in, repetitive injuries. So we help develop automated systems to make them more productive and, and more safe. We've been doing this for almost 50 years now, and there's not a lot of situations we haven't found ourselves in. Often someone will come to us and maybe not know what they need or, or uh, think about what they may need to do. The conversations I often have is, is how best can we help you? So it's not just uh, handling a bag and filling it and then picking it up and stacking it on the pallet. It's everything between uh, checking it for consistency, be it weight, appearance, uh, labels, uh, printing, uh, tracking information on there. So we'll offer Suggestions on what we've seen others in their industry do, what we know is, is common in their industry and is needed to help people through the process, not just of automating, but of developing the automation uh, for the long term. So we'll offer multiple solutions, often for, for a project, and uh, walk them through the uh, ups and downs uh, of both, if you would, and, and then help them make a decision. So we will pull from our library of standards and also uh, customize uh, just about every system that we do. And it's, it's uh, I was saying it's the same but different. Maybe the same type of uh, product or the same type of uh, our equipment, but utilized in a different way. If that solution is maybe more than they need, we will try to simplify it. Uh, to make it fit into the space, to make it fit for the customer's needs, to make it fit within their budget. There's a lot that goes into uh, the end of arm tool design. It's, it's uh, product variants, how many different products are going to run, you know, what is the product. Packaging types, most common for us, and probably what we're known most for is bags, uh, any type of bag, uh, valve bags, open mouth sewn, heat sealed, form fill and seal, uh, to pails, drums, cases. Uh, and uh, even some uncommon containers like lick tubs or protein tubs for, for cattle feed. If there's nothing in the library, then we'll, we'll sit around and, and work it out. We are able to work in almost every imaginable environment. We are often in the dirty, the heavy, the dangerous, explosive, the type of environments that people don't want to work in and shouldn't have to work in. The simplicity of our designs uh, limits the points of failure and limits the, uh, the touch points for maintenance, uh, for adjustability. So our systems as standard are powder coated with an epoxy powder coat, which is very durable. We have found that it holds up in every environment that we have found ourselves in to date. We have, have gone through lengthy testing, soak testing, you know, in, in battery acids, in salt water. We also work in corrosive or oxidizer environments where we need to use different grades of stainless steel or a non-metallic, you know, a natural nylon UHMW. I think customers appreciate our uh, attention to detail but uh, simplicity of design because in the end they have to maintain it and, and, uh, and operate it for years and years to come. I believe what sets us apart is our dedication to our solutions and to our customers. We do not leave a machine behind. You know, we still have systems that have been installed running for 30 plus years that I know of, and we still support them. We're not in this just to make a sale or, or get another system out there. We're in this to help people improve their operations, improve their lives, improve their worker safety. And we are dedicated to our customers more than I think anyone else's.